Now, BBC One, whilst everyone else is tightening their belts, the conveyor remains laden for those competing in the generation game. Life is the name of the game, and I want to play the game with you. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, children. Welcome to the Generation Game. Nice to see you. To see you. Nice. Now, you'll never guess what happened to me this morning. <laughs> well, go on, ask me. <laughs> so, come on, come on, get together after one, two, one, two, three. <laughs> yes. They're as thick as treacle here tonight. Anyway, I got stopped on the motorway by a policeman on horseback. He said, do you know you were doing over 80 miles an hour? I said, how much do you want for the horse? <laughs> he walked round and round my car, inspected everything. And then he said, this Robin Reliance, not fit to be on the road. <laughs> I said, what's wrong with it? He said, he's got foul pest. <laughs> now, how can I get from foul pest into introducing Rosie? <laughs> got it. Here she is. The lovely, gorgeous <laughs> Rosemary Ford. Yes. Oh, listen to this. As breathtakingly stunning as ever. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Yes. And I love that outfit. Off the hook. Off the hook. Oh, mm. what river were you fishing in? <laughs> the river. <Now>, <laughs> Don't have a go at me if you've had a bad week. I haven't had a bad week. Oh, no. On Tuesday, I made an 85-year-old lady very happy. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I haven't got to the joke yet. <laughs> oh, yes, I remember. Yeah. This old lady won £2 million on the pool. Yes. And you presented her with a cheque on Tuesday. Yes, and on the Wednesday, I asked her to marry me. <laughs> but did you ask her what she's going to do with all that money? Yes, she said, I'm going to leave it to the cat's home. Ah, and what did you say? Meow! <laughs> and I licked the back of my neck. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ah, ha, that's all good. Right. Uh, don't you think it's about time, uh, What's that? Don't you think it's about time I introduced the contestant? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Right, <laughs> yeah. right our first team's from Yorkshire. Oh, that's why we're doing ah. the big hurry up. The first team's from Yorkshire, where I come from. Oh, the second team. <laughs> Well, they are from Yorkshire. Oh, dear. Their mother-in-law and son-in-law, Val Palmer and Richard Sainsbury. Right. That's fine. Welcome and welcome. Oh, there is a bit of a shirt, isn't it? <laughs> right, like a golf course. Right. This is your family Palmer, married now to John for 35 glorious years. That's right. Ah, yes, yes but have they been happy and glorious? Yes. Oh, to rain on. I'm sorry, I'm such a royalist. But uh, have you any special talents at all? Yeah, swatting flies and baking. Oh, well, I'll make a note of that. Never eat her spotted dick. <laughs> right, now your favourite people are your husband and family closely followed by Howard Keel. Oh, yes. Why does our kill f follow your family closely? <laughs> no, but he's, he's 70, isn't he? Well over 70. Yes. He's still sexy. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Well, oh. some men do. Some men... <laughs> the maturity seems to come through. Really? It does. Yeah, any, anybody else you have in mind? Um, look, I think of anybody off hand. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> I'm getting blood out of a stone, right. Over now to your son-in-law, Richard Sainsbury. That's what Sainsbury, Richard. right. Well, what do you do? I'm a policeman. Are you really? really? Oh. Warm night. Come on. <laughs> warm night. Warm night. Right. Now, you're married to Julie, so in your own words, Constable Sainsbury, how did you happen to meet? I was proceeding to Wesley direction, checking her office. <laughs> 
happens. Yeah, I, I was in the Royal Air Force Police at the time. Oh, real? Oh, I And see. I found a confidential document on a desk. No. So I told her boss. Yeah. And she got done for it. You're joking. True. Really? That's what you did. That's what you did. Yeah. That's how you met. Oh yeah. my. God. Well, I mean, I've heard of a woman shopping at Sainsbury's, but never a Sainsbury shopping a woman. But, uh, <laughs> Julie used to collect teddy bears. Belinda, your brother's girlfriend, used to collect rabbits. They wanted to swap. So what happened? Well, Julie used to have a four and a half foot rabbit in a jumpsuit, and Belinda used four to have a... Four and a half foot rabbit? Yeah, yeah. not a real one, Bruce. No, no, no. And, and, and Belinda had a four foot teddy bear. Yeah, I'm not stupid. I don't... <laughs> Typical policeman, they always, think, they always think you're an idiot. Yeah. Oh, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Anyway, we used to live 35 miles apart, and my only oh. mode of transport was a big motor goosey motorbike. Oh, so one it? Sunday morning, I put all my leathers on, and yeah. I strapped the rabbit on behind me. Yeah. And I drove down to her house, and I yeah. thought the teddy bear coming back. Oh, yeah. Well, Sunday morning drivers are driving, and all of a sudden they look to their right, and there's a four and a half foot teddy bear on a motorbike. <laughs> They were shocked, you know, how often do you see a, a, a copper on a motorbike uh, with a bear behind? <laughs> And welcome to Yorkshire. Special visitors, yes. Now, who have we got next? Our second team's from Staffordshire. Their father-in-law and daughter-in-law, Fred and Joy Green. Run. Right, Joy Green, what do you do, madam? Um, I'm a travel agent, yes. manager for Lumpolly. Lumpolly! Yeah. Get away! <laughs> Well, you know that fellow with the gondola, you know what I mean? You have to be quick, don't you? Yeah. Well, um, you've been married to Mark for uh, for two years. Yeah. So the honeymoon wasn't too long ago. No. Nope. Oh, that's lovely. Where, where did you go on your honeymoon? Uh, we went to Malaysia. Malaysia? Oh, mm -hmm. how exotic. Yeah. Yeah, and what, anything happened there, you know, apart um, from... Well, in the middle of the night, I decided I wanted a drink. Oh, I see, so yes, yes. I got up out of bed, and you had to go to a drinks cabinet, so I opened the door. Yeah. And as I opened the door, this lizard jumped out on me. Oh, no. And uh, it really put the willies at me. <laughs> <laughs> whether to be happy or sad. <laughs> Mind you, those lizards are big in Malaysia, aren't they? <laughs> you sure it wasn't a newt? <laughs> Anyway, Joy, lovely to have you with us. And over to your dad now. Oh, sorry, father-in-law. Father-in-law Fred, what do you do? I'm a design uh, engineer with an aerospace company. With aerospace? Something I've always wanted to know. Why do they always put the toilets right next door to the kitchen? <laughs> It always happens. You're married to Pauline uh, for 29 years. Oh, yes. that's a long time. Great. Uh, can you remember the honeymoon? Yes, it was at the Kensington Close Hotel. Oh, that nice night. hotel. Nice yes. hotel, yeah. We, uh, we were skint after two days and... Um, after two days, yeah, yeah. no money? No. Nope. Oh, yeah. We had to go and get takeaways and take, take it back to the... And take them, takeaways and take it with... Oh, take it on your honeymoon. Would you have a Big Mac or a Whopper? <laughs> Never mind, tell me after. Right, shame. Uh, shame. Right, have you ever achieved anything? Um, yes, I brought up two children, Mark yes. and Paula, yeah. and uh, never pushed a pram or changed a nappy. <laughs> well, that's not a pram. <laughs> what do you think about that, lady? Oh, does Pauline think about this? Uh, well, she keeps reminding me about it every day of the you week. You never <laughs> pushed a push chair or changed a... Rosie! <laughs> I'm letting you, you, I'll tell you what, I'm letting you off lightly, you don't have to change it, all right? But thank you, Fred, for being just a good sport. Now, now you, at least you've done it now, and you can always say you did it once. Okay, Fred, nice people, here they are. Now, just before our first game, I'd just like to point out that our contestants have no idea what we have planned for them. This is your rehearsal. Right, we are now ready for our first game, which is called Jack Douglas. So here he is. Jack Douglas! <laughs> Jack, thank you for coming along. Not How are you? 
<laughs> You're very jumpy, aren't you? Yeah, I am a bit jumpy yes. tonight, yes. yes. Now, what are you going to do for us? Well, I, I thought of doing a dramatic recitation, The Green Eye of the Little Yellow God. It's Kipling. Hmm? Yeah. yeah. It was lovely when I came in. <laughs> Can you hear him? No, 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 I'm standing next. I can't hear you. For goodness sake, you've got to project. I've got an idea. Come here. Come here. Get off. <laughs> you take any toffees out, and I'm off. <laughs> Oh, I haven't got any toffees, for goodness sake. Come back here. Right. Look, yes. these are your hands. Well, damn sight cleaner than mine. <laughs> Put your hands behind your back. Yes. You do all the talking, and I'll do all the action. Oh, and they'll think it's me. Yes. Oh. Recitation. <clears throat> the... Oh, hey. The... <laughs> The green eye. The green. <clears throat> the green eye. There's a green-eyed yellow idol to the north of Timbuktu. <laughs> to the north of Timbuktu. There's a little marble cross below the <clears throat> below the town. There's a broken-hearted woman tends the grave of Mad Carew. What? The little god forever gazes down. Down? Hey. <laughs> he For all his foolish pranks, he will be able to. Shut up. <laughs> he was worshipped in the ranks, and the colonel's daughter smiled on him as well. Hey, how's that? Yep. Yep. What have you been eating? <laughs> Twenty-one and thirty-seven, <laughs> and arrangements had begun to celebrate oh. her birthday with a ball. <laughs> oh, <laughs> can we have our ball back, please? <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, <laughs> and he returned at break of dawn with his coat and tunic torn, and I. I, 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 I Just a bit of fun, that's all. Yeah, come on, that's my best shirt. <laughs> oh, no, that's vandalism, no, that is. No, no, I don't reckon that. <laughs> With a gash above his temple. <laughs> you're, you're not going to believe this, but without, without my glasses, I swear that was a chucky egg. <laughs> it is a chucky egg. It is. I think I know what he's going to do with it as well. With a gash. Above his temple dripping red? Mm. Oh. In the sight! Oh, no, 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 that's all there is to it. Okay, the first two in, that's all you have to do. In here, that's fine. I think you can put that down there as well. Here we are. Stand in front, that's it. You've got the, uh, the sleeves in here. That's right. Are you ready? Off you go then. We're ready now for Jack Douglas, take two. Nothing. <coughs> Recitation. It's <laughs> pop. <laughs> Where's the real jacket, dear? Look at his jacket. <laughs> now his glasses. He's <laughs> 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 as blind as a bat now. Look. Right. Your hands in his belt. That's it, fuck. Okay, fine. Go on, away you go. There's a green eyed yellow eyes all to the north of Timbuktu. <laughs> They're smashing. <laughs> it's it. <laughs> There's a little marble cross. <laughs> 
people own the town. Is it? Oh! There's a broken hearted woman. Tends the grave of Macaroon. Thumbs in his ears, dear. Thumbs in his ears. That's it. Not right. Go on. Is it dear? Oh. For all his foolish pranks, he was worshipped in the ranks. And the Colonel's daughter smiled on him as well. Now, did the <laughs> shape of the daughter, his daughter, that's it, good, fine. Good, go on then. <laughs> now, his fingers in the mouth and put, put them wide. That's it. <laughs> good, right, go on. She was nearly 21 and arrangements had begun to celebrate her birthday. No, he's not in that pocket. <laughs> in that pocket. <laughs> to celebrate his birthday. I forgot the egg. The egg, yes. It should be in the pocket, you see, when it breaks. Yeah, it. I, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know whether we should do that with a contestant. We've never well, done that to contestants before. Do what? You, you mean his suit? Spoil his trousers and everything. I've never thought of that. Do you agree? I do. I'm so pleased. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. Sorry, Jack, but I'm glad you agree. OK, weren't they marvellous? So very good. A nice fitting. Over here, if you will. Over there. Can you come the other two? That's it. Stand right here, stand in front. Nice and clear with the speech. OK, you ready? Right. Here we go then with Jack Douglas, take three. <coughs> <laughs> you haven't said recitation yet. Recitation. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Good. <laughs> Don't put him down his trousers, huh? <laughs> right. Away you go. OK. There's a green-eyed, yellow idol to the north of Timbuktu. <laughs> There's a little marble Get cross... Get your father, have a real go at him. <laughs> There's a broken-hearted woman... Hands on heart. ...tends good. the grave of Mad Karoo. Good, good. Thumbs in the ears. Oh. Okay. While, while the little god forever gazes... <laughs> Foolish pranks. Wobble his lips with your finger. <laughs> he was worshipped in the ranks. <coughs> and the Colonel's daughter smiled on him as well. Very good, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> That's it, lovely. She was nearly 21, <laughs> and arrangements had begun to celebrate her birthday with a ball. Can we have our ball back, please? Confused. Yeah. Did you want the egg for this gentleman or not? Well, no, the more I think about Very it, you funny. know, because when you, yeah, I know it's funny, but you know, do we need these kind of jokes? I mean, mean, it's the oldest joke where somebody gets an egg, they bash it onto somebody's <laughs> forehead, it all goes all over them. I mean, it's, I, I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's funny, Jack, anymore. It's not worth doing. Uh, but they were very good, didn't you think? Very good indeed. You will, lovely. And you, you all did lovely in that, you really did. And who else, if he's all cleaned up there, better to judge this than Mr. Jack Douglas. Jack! Jack. Oh. Well. It's all in the fun, yeah. Yes. Well. yes. Uh, now then, yes. Uh, we, we're waiting on your judgment. Oh, yes, yes, of course you are, yes. Well, Val and Richard, yes. I, I thought they very good. Because they had very good effects and yes. a good dialect and yes. good slapping. So uh -huh. I've awarded them 35. <laughs> well, out of 20? Yes. Oh, I see. <laughs> um, just, just a bit, uh, we'll, we'll take 20 off. All right, Rosie, we'll make that 15. See, 35, 20 off, 15. Okay, oh, great. see what we're that. dealing with here. So, okay. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, Fred and Joy, yes. I thought, did very, very well indeed. Mm. And they had some very good slaps and some good fun. Oh, yeah. And I thought they just... They, they, they just are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. They, 
they just had the slight edge. Yeah, they, yes. yes. So and I've given them 36. 36, 20 yeah. off of 36, 16. <laughs> OK, thank you, Rosie. And by the way, what have you got coming up for us lately? Oh, I'm going into pantomime. Oh, good. Whereabouts is that? Uh, at High Wycombe. Oh, I didn't even know there was a Low Wycombe. Yeah. Forget about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good luck. Oh, <coughs> yes. Right. Good luck, Jack Douglas, and thank you for being part of us. Yes, thank you and very much. Stay well. being the way you are. Yes, an idiot. Yes. <laughs> marketing board, Miss Ford. <laughs> well, Val and Richard have 15, 15, Fred and Joy have 16. As I thought, as I thought. Just worry. So we just go over there and sit yourself down and take all that stuff off. Now, our second game is called Welcome to the Fold. Let's meet from Earlies of Whitney, Barbara Souch and Jenny Buckingham. There we are. Now, you're both supervisors at the warehouse, but you're going to demonstrate folding a blanket. Now, you're Barbara? Yes. You're Barbara. Now, the company is also has some royal connection, hasn't it? By yes. royal appointment? Yes, we have a royal warranty. Yes. And we've served the royal family six and 1600. Yes. Oh, they've had a lot of warmth then from... Yes, yes certainly. <laughs> That's fine. Come over here, anyway, and show us what you're up to. Now, watch this very, very carefully, or rather. There's a little trick in here that we'll show you. I think it's only fair to show you. So do the first fold there. Now this next one, there we are, they do a half fold, you see? They only go halfway down, you see that? That's the trick of it. That's fine. Good. And then over it goes. It's wonderful. I mean, see, you could never get a machine to do that, could you? You could never get a machine to do that. Now in goes the, uh, what's that you put in there? The insert. The insert. And why do you call it an insert? Um, what is the insert? Uh, oh, it's a good reason to call it. <laughs> OK, well, the insert is inserted. <laughs> there we are. Just let's see, this is all very important. And there it is, all finished and lovely. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> lovely. And tell me now. How many blankets would you have done in one day working as a team? Uh, about 2,000. 2,000 in one day. Now, don't start running upstairs and start playing this at home. <laughs> Wait until the show's finished when blind date's on. <laughs> right. Now, will you come back and do some marking? Put this in my dressing room. Okay. Right. <laughs> Well, you never know. Right, over here. That's fine. I'm in a funny mood tonight. I hope it lasts. Right. And get to your side of your blanket there. You get to your side of your blanket there. Now, you've got about a minute, which is much longer than they took, of course, to fold it, starting from then. Right. Get together. That's it. Work as a team. touches don't forget your insert I hope your insert is in I hope it's well inserted right how much a bit more get it off to the edge it's over finished that's it oh beautiful beautiful let's uh, welcome back Barbara and Jenny now come on Barbara and Jenny now here's this effort here of Richard and Val they did a lot of talking before they started, but what do you think? <laughs> well, when they were actually folding the blanket, they did drop the blanket in. Oh, did they, they do that did, half fold? Yes, they yeah. did And then what happened fold. after that then? <laughs> well, I think they just lost it. They did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, what do you think? We've given Val and Richard 13. 13 out of 20. Yeah. Not bad, though. Not, not a very bad. difficult thing to do. <laughs> not bad at all. Over here. Fred and Joy. So, uh, well, we I can turn this over now, can we? Yeah, well, yeah. 
The insert is... Uh, what about all that? Well, the, ri the ribbon's... The ribbon's yeah. right, but the, the insert's upside down. Yeah, but... To finish off, it does actually look more to the shape of the blanket. Yes, it's got more shape to it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, we're actually giving Fred and Joy 14. 14? Yeah. Oh, there we are. Well done, you two. And good I love to early. Thank you so much for doing a barbecue. Thank you, Barbara and Jenny. Come on. on the board, Miss Ford. Well, Val and Richard have 28. Fred and Joy have 30. Oh, well done, you two and Bad love you two. Oh, that's very lovely of you. Right. Well, now, but you do, sorry, you do get a generation, see, all that's so confusing. You yeah. do get a generation game telephone for both of and thank you for being such lovely people. All right, thank, thank you for being, and we'll see you in our grand final, which is coming up very soon. That Off way. you go now, and we'll see you later. There we are. Well, well. Shame about Yorkshire. Oh. Anyway, who have we got left, Rosie? Our third teens from Cheshire, their mother and son, Dot and Andrew Pimer. Ah. Oh. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right. Now, you're Dot. I'm Dot. I could tell the way you dashed on. <laughs> right. <laughs> what do you do, Dot? Dot, do. What do you do, Dot? Do, do, do Dot? I'm a retired funeral director. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Oh, thank goodness yes. you're retired, yes. <laughs> Mind you, you're not as retired as some of your customers. <laughs> right. Um, you're married to Reg. Yeah. Any irritating habits has he got? Well, he's not a very romantic man at all. He's not? No, no. I mean, we never exchange gifts, really, for birthdays or Christmas. Really? Yes, it's Oh, I often sad, exchange sad. some of mine. <laughs> <laughs> some of the things people send me, you'd be amazed. You'd be amazed. Uh, anything else at all about any well, other... He's not romantic? Well, he isn't romantic, but no. for my 50th birthday, he did buy me a grave deed and told me... <laughs> Yes, it's all, all done legal. He knows where I'm going and he can't. 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 That is amazing. I've got to make a note of that. He worships <laughs> the ground that's coming to her. <laughs> now, uh, over to your son, Andrew. Uh, what do you do, Andrew? I'm a... Um, a rur -rur -rum? I call... <laughs> How long have you been a rur -rur <laughs> What were you before you were a rur <laughs> Coordinator for Barclays Bank. Oh, really? Any previous jobs? Uh, I had my own ice cream round. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so you went from ice lolly to nice lolly. <laughs> <laughs> you have a girlfriend. You have a girlfriend, Jill. Jill, Jill yeah. yes. Tell us about her then. Well, um, I've got quite a hairy back. And oh, well, I was just going to ask you. You've got quite a hairy back. Yes, yes, and both her and your mum, uh, they don't like it at all, so they got me booked into a sugaring clinic. A sugaring? A sugaring clinic, yes. And what, what, is, what, are they, what are they doing? Well, the it's, it's, uh, it's sort of a gooey, slimy stuff, and this uh, woman... Oh, a glue... Oh, I see, and they put yeah, that... The they gluey... put me on the front. Yes. And they smeared all this stuff on and yes. ripped it off. And, <laughs> and, it was yeah. down, yeah. and she was a, she was a bit, big girl as well. <laughs> Mind you, talk about a big girl. I mean, you're no lightweight, are you? How much do you weigh? About uh, 16 and a half stone. 16 and a half stone? Yeah. You work for Barclays? That's right. You should work for Fat West. <laughs> you have one phobia, which is... Don't like reading in public. I can't, I can't make this out. What, what, <coughs> wait, wait, what is it? What? What? Reading out loud in public. You can't! Back. I mean, I just... Would you ever heard anything like it? Sugaring. Right. Well, I'll be sugared. Right. <laughs> Our fourth team's from Sussex. Their father and daughter, Michael and Sharon Walker. Welcome, welcome. Now, you're Sharon. Now, what do you do, my darling? I'm a bank clerk. A bank? Not another one. <laughs> Wait so long in the bank. <laughs> All the staff are on this show. You were embarrassed in Cyprus while having lunch. What happened? 
I was having lunch with mum and dad. Yes. And being typically British, I wanted to catch up with my meal. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> of course, yeah. Cypriot waiter was very yeah. nice to us and brought the ketchup to me. And the lid was very loose. He oh, got me undone it and yeah. I shook it and covered mum and dad in it. Oh. <laughs> Everywhere, everywhere. Especially when you're in white. So let's get this straight. So the top came off and yeah. tomato ketchup everywhere. Yeah. I'll just make a note of that. Cyprus, topless, <laughs> went very red. Yeah. <laughs> my records, yes. Over now to Michael. Now, what do you do? Uh, proprietor in a garage. Oh, really? Oh, yes. And you're married to Leslie for 24 years. What does she do? She's a uh, wages supervisor in the garage. So she knows exactly what you earn? Unfortunately, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Not many wives know that, do they, lads? <laughs> right. Now, uh, tell us about your wedding and the honeymoon story. Evidently, that's interesting. Well, uh, an hour before I got married, I smashed a car up right outside the church. Oh, <laughs> oh lovely, yes. I was uh, still yeah. a little bit under the weather, I think, yes. the night before. Yeah. And then the second thing is the came out after the wedding and the photographer was drunk. Oh. <laughs> The photographs weren't very good. Yeah. And the third thing, we drove all the way up to London. Yeah. Booked into the hotel, and that was twin beds. Twin. Oh. <laughs> so in the end, it was carless, legless, and useless. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, now wait a minute. You, oh, you do an impression of Norman Wisdom. That's what I want to get to. I've got to see that. Will you do a little bit of it? <laughs> Good. Mind you, it's not so good as the one he does of you. <laughs> that was superb. Okay, welcome, welcome. Thank we you. have a game coming up for you. Love what it. nice people are game. Come on. Hey there. Lovely lovely. Now then, we're ready for game number three. Now, this is an updated version of a favourite game of ours which we first did in 1973. So we were the first one to do it. Now it's, it's got bigger and better. Uh, we call it Sausage a Mess. <laughs> Please welcome the production supervisor of Dawson and Daughters Limited, Mr. Simon Musk. Come with me now. Follow me. Follow me. Simon. How are you? All right, lovely to see you. Now, uh, f first of all, it's all about Cumberland sausage. Yeah. Don't Sorry. move. Go on. Uh, stay there. Yeah. <laughs> Got some crazy glue to put on his feet. Right. Now then, we're talking about Cumberland sausage here. Cumberland sausage. Now, what is the difference between a Cumberland sausage and an ordinary sausage? And don't say six inches. <laughs> on the Cumberland sausage, yes. you've got a coarser uh, chop of meat. Ah, of course. Okay. Away with the demonstration. Right, okay. And by the way, we are using vegetable filling. Sort of vegetarian filling for this. So we're not wasting meat at all. <laughs> There you are, you see? That is, or should be, about a two pound Cumberland sausage. It's as simple as that. Just put the thing in there, and the color. They're also a bit spicy as well, aren't they? Yeah. There we are, have a good view of that. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's still alive, I tell you, it's alive! Okay, fine. So here we are, you're the first in. Now turn around the other way, that's good. You've got 10 seconds. Now you work it with your, with your leg, no. Oh with your leg against that sort of lever there, okay? And you, we want just about two pounds worth to make your, your Cumberland sausage. Okay, away you go. Go on. <laughs> That's it, nip it off. Well done, well done. Now just pick it up and take it over there to that far one, over there. All right, be careful. Okay, and don't do anything. The next one, please. You've got about 10 seconds, my darling. You work it with your leg. You see your leg there, up against there. Okay, that's how you work it. 10 seconds, if you want. Well, we want two pounds worth. Away you go, in your own time. Away you go. Give it a good, give it a good go. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <big time. laughs> yeah, be careful you don't drop that bit. Are you ready? Okay, get it all in your hands and take it over there. Yeah, don't you? Uh, no, you don't do that. You do it later, love. Okay, you want to get to the, the interesting part. Right, over there you go. Fine, next one. All right, in you come, Sharon. Your turn. We want about two pounds worth of Cumberland sausage. You work it with that lever there with your leg, with your right leg. Okay, give it a good... Yeah, no, with your leg, dear, with your leg. That's your arm, that's your leg. Leg, arm, arm, leg, head, neck. No, we won't go any further. Here we go then. Okay, where you go? Go on. Oh, 
<laughs> Go on, is that two pounds worth you think? Yes? Do you want a little bit more? No, you don't need that. Okay, nip it off then, dear. That's what the mouth is for. You don't have to bite it. <laughs> Stone of crows, okay. Now take your Cumberland over there, dear, over to that table and wait until we tell you what we're to do with it. Right, off you come here, Michael. Okay, just two pounds worth. Are you ready? In your own time. Yeah, so, no, with, with your leg, in there. You, you, you work it with your leg, you see? Push it, give it a good push. Away you go. Oh! <laughs> well, I think... <laughs> Nip it off. Then bring it all over. <laughs> go on, pull it off. <laughs> pull it off. <laughs> no. All right, we'll take it over there like that. You remember that bit? <laughs> Go. Fine, that's it. Lovely. And will you come back and do some marking? Certainly will. Fine. Everything's messy tonight. Eggs and now sausages. All I want is a bit of bacon. <laughs> now you've got 20 seconds to cut it to the length that you think it should be and then coil and spike the Cumberland sausage. All right then? Starting from now. So cut it to the length you think it should be and then do your twirling and get that coil going, get the coil nicely going and then put the spike in, the wooden spike. Oh, very nice, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, he's going to have a bit of... I don't know how you're going to coil that. Right, stand by your Cumberland. And Simon, come back to do some marking for us. Just in here, Andrew. Well, there we are. It looks a big one to me. A big one. That would be a bit more than two pounds, you think? Or That's a big two pounds. A big two pounder, yes. And you've got a bit of uh, overlap here. An overlap. But it's held together well, nice shape, nice and round. Six out of ten for that. Six out of ten. Very good, Andrew. Very good indeed. Now, let's get round here and see what you think of dots. A bit of filling came out here. Yes. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? Not bad. No, not bad. Just a little it's bit round. of... round. Go for five. Five for that one. Five. Not as good as Andrew's, but well done, Doc. Okay, good. And here's... She's got this little bit over here. But... Uh... A little bit over. A little bit too small. A little bit too but small, yeah. not quite a two pounder. It's nice, it's a firm one. It's a firm one. Yeah, yeah you've got a firm <laughs> one. <laughs> not many people can say that, can they? <laughs> Go for five out of ten. Go for five out of another five there. Now, unfortunately, all the skin came off. He hasn't got any skin at all. He's put, tried to make it into a. <laughs> it's a disaster. It is a disaster. Well, but, but he does a very good Norman Wisdom yeah. impression. <laughs> So what do you think? Two. Five, two. two. Oh, only two. Oh, bad luck, Michael. There we are. But, Simon, thank you very it's much for pleasure. bringing it all to us. And thank, thank you. you for being a part of the show. Lovely. Good game, everyone. Come along. Come along. There we are. Now, what's on the board, Miss Ford? Well, Dot and Andrew have 11. 11. Michael and Sharon have seven. Seven. Oh, so only two in it. Only... <laughs> I got there eventually. <laughs> Can't anybody make a mistake on this show? <laughs> go and sit down. <laughs> okay. Over there you go. Fine. Uh, as the motor show starts next week, our next game is called Know the Code. Now then, we've checked up and you're all drivers here tonight, aren't yeah. you? Yes. How long have you been driving, Andrew? About five years. Five years? How about you, Doc? Over 30. Over 30? <laughs> really? Sharon? Two. Two. Michael? 29. 29. Well, I'll beat you up. 44 years. Maybe. Do you know, and I still haven't passed the test. <laughs> it's true, though, in the war, if you had a provisional license, isn't this true, Michael? You, during the war, that you didn't have to afterwards. <laughs> <But that's... laughs> didn't you, Doc? <laughs> didn't you, Doc? Okay, now we're going to give you some road signs from the highway code, and you have to draw the actual sign. Okay, so over to your signs. <laughs> Okay, now your first one, the first one is uneven road. Uneven road. <laughs> I didn't say my 
done. <laughs> all right, have we all finished? Can we have a look at the sign, please? There we are. Two humps. Very good indeed, I can see here, but what have we got here? Oh no, you've got four humps. A bit ambitious. <laughs> yes, but too many, too many. So you don't get anything for that, but very good here, my darling. Dot, lovely, you get two points, one for each hump. Good. <laughs> lovely, lovely, you've got three humps, no good. Three, a bit of a novelty, but no good. And yes, two humps there, well done indeed, two points. Good. Now change your card, change your card, that card off, and you'll find one underneath it and put it on your table. Good. The next one is Roadworks. <laughs> okay, could we have a look at the sign, please? There we are, that's the one. That's the one we want to see. And what have we got here? Well, he's got a hat on. Okay, and he's got this... That is, that is a pile of something, is it? Yes. That is a pile of something. Two points. Two points you get with that. Well done indeed. Well done indeed. Now, this is going the wrong way. And, and what is this supposed to be, dear? Well, that's his pile, but mine's a neater pile than... <laughs> believe you dot it's a neater pile than he normally gets but you get one point for that well done well done now w what is this dear well, he's working on the road he's, he's working yeah. but what's this oh it's um sorry. it's a sign yes, you mustn't go through there because it's roadworks oh i see <laughs> Yeah, no, no, well, well tried, but yeah, I can see he's got a spade, but that's about all he has got, right? You don't get any points for that one. Oh, very good indeed, Michael. Yes, got to be two points. Even going the right way, lovely, lovely, lovely. The next one is level crossing without barrier. Level crossing without barrier. <laughs> Side, please. <laughs> what is it? It's a bridge. It's a bridge. A bridge. Oh, you thought it meant no? I said level crossing without a barrier. Oh, okay. Without a bridge? No, no, without. A, I didn't say anything about a bridge. <laughs> Okay, now this one, well, they're, they're railway lines and... The train's gone, though. The train's gone. <laughs> Do you remember that old Will A film? The last train's gone! <laughs> the train's gone. No, we can't give you anything for that at all. <laughs> now, what on earth is this? Without... It's a level crossing without barrier. Oh, it's a level crossing <laughs> without barrier. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> Yes, now then, this is a much better, what is this supposed to be? Railway lines. Railway lines. This, um... <laughs> that's a cross, that means there's no crossing there. Oh, I see. You could have put a few noughts there as well. You could have played noughts and crosses. No, nothing for that either. Then change the last one coming up now, but you'll be grateful this is the last one. Quayside or River Bank. Quayside or River Bank. Side or river bank. <laughs> could we see? Could we see the sign, please? There it is. Okay, the car sort of tipping over, and the water below. Now, what in Dickens is this? Brothers. What's that? It must be boat. River. Your boat, yes, and, and the river, and that's the river, and these and are the trees, flowers. The fla flowers. Oh, they're pretty flowers. <laughs> Would you like some colouring pencils? 
nothing at all for that. God, that would be... Now, the, who's he? I mean... He's going into the river. He's going... He's at the quayside, you see, and ready to... It's a she had better... Yeah, but where's the quayside, dear? Well, Lewis just missed it. Yeah, but where is... I mean, you've got a train that doesn't come along. Then you've got a quayside that he's just missed. Sorry, dear, nothing. I know we can see your water, dear. It's lovely water, it's lovely, yes. Lots of Madonnas, lots of Madonnas. Right, now, what's, now this is not, well, it's near as regards. There is a quay there, I'm you see, and, and the sea's going up. Well, yeah. Which would have been nice if it was going there, but we're going to give you one point for that because you did have the idea yeah. of that. So one point. <laughs> well done indeed. Oh, now look at this. Absolutely marvellous. Two points and well done, Michael. What about that? Come along. Come back here. Well done indeed. Come on. Back here. Back here. Now then, they were all warning signs, by the way, all warning signs, and I'm giving you fair warning tonight. Walk home. <laughs> now, what's on the board, Miss Ford? What's happened? Well, Dot and Andrew have 16. 16. Michael and Sharon have 14. Oh, you lost out there at the end. It was the sausages <laughs> and the skin, the skin that did it. Just by a skin you got through. Okay, so we're sorry to lose you, but no you problem. will get a generation game Lovely. telephone for each of you. Thank you for being with us. And uh, there we are. And we also have highway codes. <laughs> <laughs> for you all. Okay, jolly good. And look at them. And look at them. Okay, but we'll see you, you later on for a drink. Thank, Thank you for you. being part of the show, Michael. Thank you. And let's remind ourselves of who you'll be playing in our grand final over <laughs> We've got a grand final for you. Now, please welcome some very, very special guests of mine. The 60s Tiller Girls. <laughs> Ladies, work to the Palladium with me. All of you? Well, for goodness sake. Oh, that's, that's made me feel so good. All right, back to your stables. So here we have the vital toss up. Are you ready? Heads or tails? Joy. Tails. Tails. Oh. Tail. <laughs> Tails it is. Okay. So do you want to go first or second? We'll go first. First get it over with? Okay. Yep. Fine. Off you come here. And put these two, find them a place in Madame Tussauds. <laughs> a corner near Joan Collins or something like that. Oh, oh hello Rosie. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I, oh? I can't wait for this number. What? Well, uh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, did you ever do a Tiller Girl routine? Oh, Bruce. I've done them. I've done them loads of times. I mean, I just... Oh, I just... What's that? Oh, no, Rosie. Rosie, 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 oh. you want it on the phone, dear? Oh! Yes, oh. It's, yes, it's, uh, it could be Hollywood, long oh. distance. Oh, right. Yes. <laughs> That's got rid of her. <laughs> anyway, she kicks too hard, the tiller goes only over to there, don't worry about that. So come back here, are you ready? Get yourself, and don't forget, it's all dressage, style and grace. 
Okay, we're ready now for 60s Tiller Girls Take Two. For you, <laughs> I've got to go through it again. <laughs> right over there, right now. Oh, dot. <laughs> Don't worry, dear. Follow me. You'll be all right. Legs Don't worry. You've got little legs. Don't worry. You've got a big heart. You've got a big heart. As you go there. Okay. Remember, style and grace. Dressage. Dressage. Are we ready? We're ready now for sixties. Chilly girls. Take three. Right. Left. Didn't you enjoy that? <laughs> now to, to judge this, <laughs> here is their choreographer, who was also a Tiller girl for 19 years. I've worked with her many times. It's so nice to see her again. Wendy Cluck. <laughs> yes. Didn't you think they all did well? Very well. I did cheat a bit. You did? Yes, I was wearing my knee supports. Because <laughs> it's all, yeah, that's not the only support I was wearing. <laughs> oh, 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 all that up and down. But, you know, as we were talking about yesterday, <laughs> we were talking about all that yesterday, you reminded me of that time we did, we did that routine, just the two of us. Yes, yes. We did a whole Tiller Girl routine, just Wendy and I. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, what's wrong with sex? <laughs> um, anyway, you're a judge tonight, so what do you think? Well, it's very difficult to say, isn't it? I think, technically, Fred and Joy were 
very good, don't you think so? Yes. I think it's extremely good. Yes. On your turning kits, I thought you picked those up very, very well. <laughs> now, yes. Dot and Andrew. <laughs> Wonderful entertainment value. <laughs> and after all, we tillers are here to entertain people. Stick but Dot at the end of the line was the well, best. <laughs> so, what do you think points wise? Well, I think, as I said, for um, technical, 18 points. And for entertainment value, again, 18 points. Oh, a tie! A tie. Well, I think that's fair because you've got a lot of loud voice. So thank you, Wendy, and do thank all your 60 yes, Stiller girls. Yes. A lovely lot of people. It's been so lovely to meet them again. Thank it really you. is. Thank you, thank Wendy you. Clark. Down there. Now then. Get nice and close here. The first one to answer this correctly will go through. Now here we go. Which former minister is now governor of Hong Kong? Patton. Very yeah. good. You did it, my love. Yes, Patton. Chris Patton, it was. Come on, what about that? There we are. I mean, sorry, so close, it really was. But you do, you will each get a Generation Game telephone answering machine, and each of you will get a, a pocket colour television each. None of you deserve to lose tonight. You're not losers, you're all winners as far as I'm concerned. Thank you for being with us. Off you go there, lovely. And come on, you two, round here. Come on. Good, in you go. Take the doors away, please. Okay, lots of articles are going to pass before your eyes. Have a real good look. You've got 40 seconds for this. Look out for the tricky ones because they're more valuable than they look. Okay, good luck again. For your 40 seconds starts now. On the conveyor belt tonight, we have a mini gardener's kit, a case of champagne, a cookery and gardening yearbooks, a video recorder, a coffee maker, an old copy of the Radio Times, a flagon of fine vinegar, a fondue set, a stylish magazine rack, a smoked sausage, an urn-shaped vase, <laughs> a pair of cuddly candle lamps, a holiday hold -all, a Whitney blanket, a jelly bean machine, kettle and glass teapot, a kitten's china set, a tapestry kit, and that's about it. Okay, so keep thinking all the time. Keep thinking nice thoughts. Right. Okay, sit yourselves down. You go to the far one there, Andrew. Good. Now you're going to have another 40 seconds. And I said before, everything you remember, you will take home with you tonight. You'll have the first 20 seconds. When you hear a funny noise, Andrew, then you take over. Okay, good luck again. You have 40 seconds starting from now. Gardening set, champagne, yeah. old radio times, a flagon thing, good. two lamps. Yeah, yes. Um, it's a... Uh, <laughs> Recorder. Yes, a video recorder, yes, good time. Yes. Yeah. Did you say? There was um, a kettle. Um, a kettle, yes. Some uh, lampshades, good. a sausage, a tea time, a toy. A cuddly toy. Yes, um, um, Do you like sausages? Some sausage. Yeah, smoked sausage, good. Um, what else was it? Um, uh, a dinner thing. Yeah. Um, a fondue set. A video. Very good. Oh, didn't they do well? Hey, come on. Over here. Let's have a look. Very good. Very well. Very, very well indeed. And I'm glad you got the old copy of the Radio Times because that is the latest colour TV with teletext. There, that's marvellous. And you got the smoked sausage, which is a family holiday for four to Austria. Are you pleased? Well, on behalf of Rosie and myself and everyone, and I do mean everyone, thank you for being with us this week. We'll see you again next week. Be there. That's it.